Welcome to Katie's World, everyone. We are here of, in March of year one to get this park started, or I guess to continue this park. We already have a grand to our name and almost 400 guests here. So I mentioned last episode when we uh, toured this park that we need a little bit of maintenance done here. Uh, there are no shops, no stalls, no bathrooms, and only one handyman, one mechanic, no security, and no entertainers. So Instead of make you guys or making you guys sit through all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all of that right now. So, I will most likely be broke when we come back because we only have pizza and nothing to drink. I will build a couple of these throughout the park. I will assign handyman and mechanics everywhere, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, welcome back. Uh, so we have just taken care of all of our handymen, all of our mechanics. Uh, we did name them based on kind of where they're at. Some of them are based on the ride name and some are based on a train, a single rail roller coaster, go-karts, whatever, because I plan on renaming some of these rides. Um, we did, what did we do? We did all of our mechanics except for one because there's a part of my park I didn't show you guys last time. And that is this. This ride is completely underground. It is pretty cool. Runaway Plumber. <laughs> it's an interesting name, but it is doing very nicely. Um, we're going to go through all of our rides real quick and update them a little bit. So we can charge $4.90 for this one. So we're going to. Uh, if people are turning away right now. Actually... This is one thing that's interesting. Normally, people turn away from roller coasters when it rains. However, since this one's entirely underground, I think this counts as a covered ride. So people are actually willing to ride it in the rain. So that's kind of neat. Uh, and you can see this goes pretty far underground. Uh, yet, if you w look at that uh, walkway there, that's going really far down. Um, I wonder if I can... Yeah, I can add some benches here underground that's kind of cool uh, it's kind of hard to see where they're going but cool nonetheless and then we need a, a handyman for that area um, we'll do a new one because I didn't name them and I forget which one is which uh, but this guy I don't even 
Oh, no, I think we did cover that. Yeah, we have a handyman down there. I wasn't sure what I covered because I couldn't really see what I was doing. But it looks like he has free reign to walk all over that area. However, we need a mechanic for this one. Uh, and this one will be... Underground Ride. Again, because I plan on renaming some of these things. As much as I do like the Runaway Plumber name, I'm going to change it. And that should cover all of that, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go through our rides and update them. We updated the price, 490 That's good. Uh, this is a very cool ride. Uh, they ride two at a time, it looks like. And this station platform is entirely too long for what it is. It's only loading two people at a time, which takes quite a while to do. And then the station platform is just massive. We have way more cars than we need. So, um, because this park is named Katie's World, I thought it'd be cool to name all of our rides so-and-so's something. So, someone's something. So, this is Katie's World, and this can be the Rockets. Uh, let's do Brandon's Bombers. And we're going to kind of stick with that same naming theme for all of our rides in this park. I think that would be kind of cool. So, uh, Brandon's Bombers. Uh, let's do... No, Susie makes it sound not as good. Uh, Sam's Storm. And we will update the price on this as well. 680 if I didn't already do that. No, I didn't. 680 That's awesome. And again, no one's writing this because it's raining. That's fine. Uh, the train is Miniature Railroad 1. <laughs> Uh, two sixteen, two dollars and ten cents on this one, and uh, let's do Rebecca's railroad. <laughs> this will be the easiest naming scheme I think I've done yet. I'm not going to struggle too much naming these, and this one's already done. Catherine's cruisers. That's perfect. I'm not going to re rename that one. Uh, two fifty for the price and hopefully this will get us some money so we can not have to resort on taking out a ton of loan i had to take out two grand uh just to build shops and stalls and now that i'm thinking of it i don't think i ever built any restrooms so we need to do that i don't think i did at least uh yeah i definitely didn't so let's go ahead and build a couple of those real quick i put some information kiosks and um what are they called? Pizza stalls throughout my park. Not a ton, but I think th I did three of each. Um, and I'm probably going to do a few more restrooms than that just because people need a place to go to the bathroom. I'll probably do four. I think that would work. I'm feeling one over in this general direction. We'll actually get rid of that tree and do it right at the top here. Perfect. Okay, so that's that. While we're over here, let's name these. Uh... See, some of these are already named. Al's Galleon. I like it. 240. And we just got a drink stall. Awesome. Because we don't. We only have food currently. We don't have any drink. Uh, Al's Galleon. That's perfect. And I'm not going to repaint any of the existing rides. Again, I, I trust or I defer to the developer's judgment in how they painted these. I'm not a fan of the yellow here. but So maybe I will change that. I don't know. How is this so exciting? Is it just because they have so many laps? Three laps? See how basic this is? It doesn't even go up and down. And it's one of the more exciting go-kart rides I think we've seen. 450 for this? Man, that's awesome. I'm going to make some good money from this park. They've already got a lot of rides here that I think are doing very nicely. Richard's Wreckers... Forest Flyer. I actually know a guy named Forest, so we'll do Forest's Flyer. <laughs> uh, Forest's Flyers? Since there are multiple of them? We'll do Forest's Flyers. It's a mouthful, but... Is there anyone in line for that thing? I can't really see. 14 people. Okay. Uh, and this is 470. 
Sorry if this isn't too exciting. This is necessary stuff, and I can't do... I guess I could do this in pause. Actually, I couldn't rename rides while the game was paused, so I didn't want to do that in my time lapse there. Uh, I think that's everything. I think we've named everything now. We've got, what, Sam Storm, Rebecca's Railroad, Richard's Records, Wreckers, Forest Fire, Catherine's Cruisers, uh, Al's Galleon, Brandon's Bomber underground here, and I think that is everything. Awesome. So, we're going to go ahead and build a drink stall real quick, because our guests need something to drink. And again, we'll probably do three of these, just kind of spacing them out throughout the park. Uh, this park doesn't really, in my eyes, doesn't really lend itself well to building a food court style of, or a, I guess a food court period. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of disperse these throughout my park and hopefully I don't get any complaints of people not being able to find it or get in or any of that. So, um, or of not being hungry or thirsty. And why do I have two... Handyman right there. One of those must be Handyman 1. Yep. Handyman 1 is the only handyman in my park who has free reign to go wherever he wants. And also, why do I have a... Um... Did I give this guy foot paths and not place him? No? Where is this guy supposed to be? Okay, we'll get rid of him for now. Since I don't think we need him. I love that terminology. Are you sure you want to sack handyman whatever? So like, yeah, I, I am actually. Uh, so let's build something. It's going to have to be something very small, seeing as how we are broke. Uh, I don't think there's a scrambled eggs here yet. Uh, so we can add one of those. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to adjust the settings on this to, again, leave if another train arrives. Because these people are having to wait way too long to ride this ride. And I don't know what just happened with that guy. He hit the entrance and turned around. They should be good. There we go. Okay, so let's build our scrambled eggs. But yeah, right now I am... I'm kind of awake. I haven't had my coffee yet. Um, I, I'm a coffee drinker in the morning, at least, if I get up early. I drink coffee out of necessity, not out of a liking for it. <laughs> it's okay. I drink it because it has caffeine, not because I like coffee. But I got up at 7 this morning to go for a run. I don't have work until... Oh, I should probably know when I have work. That might be a good thing to know. I don't have work until noon, I think. I'll have to check that. I don't want to be late. Uh, I got work at noon. And so I wanted to get up early to record an episode for you guys. Because it's a long day for me. I don't know if I'll have too much time afterwards, so... That and I have other stuff I want to do after work. So, um, why am I trying to build something else? I need to finish scrambled eggs one. Um, Ethan's... Ethan's eggs. Still egg themed. So I'm still keeping my, my egg names going on that. But it's Ethan's eggs. I like it. And I, th I think you can get some other design here. And I'm not sure... Ooh, shame on me. We need to do maximum funding. Um, I think you can get some other type of... Car design. Or ride design. I don't know what to call that. But I don't know what that is. So we'll test it real quick just to get stats. Because I'm pretty sure you get them almost instantly on these. Or not. I misspoke. And I didn't... Why did I build that with... What am I doing, guys? <laughs> that is an entrance, not an exit. 180. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to take out somewhat of a loan. Definitely, seeing as how... Uh, what is built? So it looks like everything in this park... For the most part... Oh, this is new. Space rings? Each space ring consists of a concentric steel... Consists of concentric steel rings pivoted to allow free rotation in all directions. That's cool. Let's build that. I don't know what this thing is. Um, I've built it before, but I don't remember 
building it, to be completely honest with you. Uh, does that track touch the ground there? Yeah, it does. I was going to want to build this in here and have it go. Actually, I can do that. And I'm going to. I think that'd be kind of cool. Okay, let's get a view we can work with here. That will work. And we'll do the entrance here. Exit there. We're going to have to go underground a little bit with this. Uh, but I think that will look kind of cool when it is all said and done. So this is right here. So that'll need to be lowered. Twi oh, that's only a one height difference. Maybe this won't work after all. Um, how much space is there between the walkway and the ride? One tile. That's not going to work after all. Never mind. I'm going to build this somewhere else. I thought that was going to work. It will not. I wanted the uh, path to go underground and then come back up, but I thought I had two tiles between the track and the walkway. And I only have one, and that's not going to work for the necessary clearance needed. Um, let's build this on this hill right here, and we'll have... Yeah, that'll work. Um, so we'll do the entrance on the side here and the exit going straight down. And I like these parks that have a couple different walkway types. Like over here, the wood uh, footpath makes it... Did I just say wood? The dirt footpath makes it seem a lot more nature-y. Uh, and it's in the forest, so it makes sense. But over here, where it's more developed, you have a concrete path, and I think it just makes sense. So, I'm going to lower this like so, just so we can get this footpath going. And I'm actually doing a footpath this time, not a, not a gener generic walkway. So, go me. It's b baby steps, right? Space Rings 1. I want to see how this works. I don't... Again, I've built this before, but it's been so long. Oh, that's awesome. They just get, like, strapped in and then start rotating? Can they only go forward and backward? Is there no... Do they not go side to side? There they go. That guy's... Oh, that looks cool. That would be so much fun. Uh, do you have an option of how long they can stay on? Doesn't look like it. Uh, and how is that only... I feel like that would be pretty intense. But that's just me. 180. That's fine. That'll make us a little bit of money. Uh, and let's make sure... Whichever mechanic we have for... Underground ride. Looks like we massively covered all this. So he's already got it. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Um, and we need to give this thing a name. Um, we've got a lot of R names in this park. We've got Richard. We've got Rebecca. And now we're going to do... Uh, no. What am I doing? Space rings. Um... I'm trying to do a first and last name for Space Rings. Um, Shauna Ringo's Space Rings. Ringo? That doesn't seem like a good last name. Oh, well. Shauna Ringo's Space Rings. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Actually, we'll just do Shauna's Space Rings. I think that's a little bit too out there. Shauna's Space Rings. And these names are going to be so easy to do. That one was a little bit more difficult because I was getting a little bit too ambitious. But, yeah, this episode is probably just going to be our basic uh, standard first episode. I don't really want to take out too much. You know what? No, never mind. I'm going to take out some money. We're going to build a coaster. I don't want to have a, a boring first episode here. So let's build something. Um, ooh, we have a water slide off the bat. I don't think I want to do that quite yet, though. Uh, let's build a log flume. I think that would fit very nicely 
I had an area in mind for a ride earlier. Where did it go? Nope, that is not our park. This is our park. This area right here is kind of nice. Um, it's very... It's very open. And if we cleared some of those trees, it could be even more open. So let us do just that. Um... I kind of like building some stuff underground, but we'll actually do this right here. And we'll have it go back underground, I think. Or at least... Um... No, not quite yet. We'll make this the maximum station length here. And then this tree is going to be in our way, as is this one. And we're going to just kind of weave this around in this area. Um, I'd like to put another ride in this area. So I don't want to make this too um, compact. I want to leave room so I could put, you know, track that goes down through this kind of circle right here. Uh, through that opening and around. And I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to think, think ahead. Uh, we'll go over the walkway here. I think that would be cool. The tree would disagree with me. Can I clear the tree now? There you go. What do you have to say about that tree? Nothing, because you're a tree. I don't know why I'm talking to inanimate objects right now, but I guess it's not inanimate. It's a living being, but whatever. I'm going crazy, guys. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, so I want to do my entrance on this end. Entrance will be there. Exit will be probably down here somewhere. We'll actually do it right there, right along the edge. And so we'll snake that over so we have room for a path. I think that would look nice. And we're going to have to demo some of these trees as normal. We're used to doing that by now, though. Um, so I don't want this to be too long, mainly because I don't want to spend too much money. Um, but that's something we should be used to by now. So we're at 15 right now. I'd like to go up a little higher and do one more drop. Um, I don't know. This is getting somewhat long for a log flume. I don't want to make it not make the end or not. What am I trying to say? Make it take too long to where people are just waiting a whole bunch. So we'll just bring it over and back around. And I think that lines up. Yes, it does. Sweet. And then we'll just do two drops here at the very end to end it. And goodbye tree. And we're done. That is nice. And that's a cool little ending. I like doing this on log flumes because you get a little splash action each time you do one of those dips. And I think that is one of the cool parts about a log flume, is that, that splash action you get. So, all right. I like building rides, or I like when I have the foresight to build a ride with the entrance and exit, as well as the line in mind as I build it. Uh, I don't always do that, and it doesn't always work out so well because of that. Although, it, doing this, I think, would be kind of cool. Um, nope, I'm trying to go... There we go. That's a cool looking line. I like it. Okay, log flume construction is now done. Um, what would be... Logan's... Loggers. These names are so easy to come up with. They might not be as original, but... I like that color so much better. Okay, uh, let's get this thing open first, or at least test it, uh, so we can not waste time here. We'll test this for a little bit while we... I don't know. That's good enough. Logan's Loggers is now open. Please let me take your money. And we just got an ice cream stall. Awesome. We'll probably build that next episode. I think this will be the last thing we do for this one. 
Uh, but full load, yeah, that's good. Uh, entrance and ex exits, walkways, all that's already done. We need to paint this thing. Um, I don't ever... On a ride like this, I don't want it to really stand out like crazy. Um, a ride like this, however, yeah. it's If you ever go to a theme park, it's the big rides that are all... Not always, but they're usually some crazy colors. Uh, they're very vibrant, very bright, very eye-catching. This is not that. Um, this is a calm ride. It's gentle. It's relaxing. It's water-based. I feel like anything water-based is always um, relaxing. So we're going to make it exactly like that. Relaxing. That's a nice color. I like that. It's kind of a little bit lighter than the water. I think that's good. Um, and this is going to look awful. Yep. Does that same color for supports look bad? Not really. I think that's nice. And then what if we do white on the inside? Is that going to look... That's kind of cool. It's a different look for a log flume than we've done. Logan's Loggers. I like that. And do we have... We don't have test results yet, no. This is going to take a little bit. Our test boats are only just there. So yeah, this is a fairly long ride. But... That is okay. We're going to actually build those ice cream stalls I was talking about. Uh, while we wait for our test results to show up. Uh, this episode might be a little bit shorter than what you guys are used to. Or than what I normally put out. Awesome. We have a tidy park. Thank you, Handyman. Uh, but yeah, this episode might be a little bit shorter than normal. I still want to kind of stick to my half a year um, per episode timeline I've been doing. And because I did that time lapse in the beginning, it's going to cut into a little bit of that time. So if this episode's a little bit shorter, that wouldn't surprise me. Actually, I can guarantee it will be shorter. So, but I hope you guys like that. Let me know what you think about me just kind of breezing over all that stuff. If you want to watch me place footpaths for my handyman and mechanics and build my shops and stalls all over the park, let me know. But I don't feel like that's something that many people would want to see, especially on our like sixth or seventh park, whatever we're on. Um, that isn't exciting for me to do so I wouldn't imagine it's exciting for you to watch but if I'm wrong you know how to let me know so all right now our first boat is just now coming back to the station that is a long ride I want to see how long it is once it makes its way all the way back I love the screams of people though they seem so happy well, he's on something more thrilling. There you go. Okay. There we go. I'm happy with that. That's decently exciting. For a log flume, at least. I like it. And we still left enough space here to where I could weave something through it. I think if I did a water slide... Kind of... I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm trying to think before I... I don't know. We'll figure that out when we actually build something else but I kind of like this it's got two sort of outcroppings that loop back around if you zoom out it it has a nice look to it I think but that's just me let us stop letting these people go on this for cheap and this is what 480 I didn't really yeah there we go 480 perfect and that'll make us some decent money so, okay, guys, I think that's going to do it for this first episode. We are now in July of year one. We are one-sixth of the way done with this park. Um, we have... I don't know what our maximum loan cap is, but I hope to not find out. Um, I hope we can make enough money here that we don't have to continue taking out loans. But again, I said that last uh, park on Trinity Islands. And we hit our cap, and we stayed at our cap. So, you know... Just because I say I don't plan on doing it doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. But okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.